everyone. So I'm here to do my 30 week pregnancy update. I know I'm going to say this again. I'm going to sound repetitive, but I cannot believe I'm 30 weeks. I have like 10 weeks, give or take, left in this entire pregnancy. And then he'll be here and I will be a mom of two little boys under age two. Crazy. First off, before I get into anything else, I just wanted to say, um, when I did my channel relaunch, I privatized a lot of my old videos just because I didn't think that they were like great quality or I wasn't super happy with them. But there's a few that I have made public again, so I don't know if those are popping up in your dis er, in your subscriptions. So if they are, I'm sorry about that. Those are extremely old videos from like two years ago, but I privatized most of my old vlogs that weren't like um, pregnancy updates or Grayson's like weekly um, like montage videos. So some of the videos are now public again just because I wanted to put them up again. So if those are showing up in your subscriptions, that's why. The baby is now about 2.8 pounds and 15 inches long, which seems very small to me because I did have such a large newborn when Grayson was born, but I mean, I guess that in another sense that is pretty big. So yeah, seems small to me, but I guess it is kind of big for being like a little baby that's still in your tummy. I don't know. He is also now strong enough to grasp your finger if they weren't inside your stomach. And they also said that at this stage, this week, the baby's skin is starting to get a lot smoother and not such like a papery texture. So that's good to know. As for me, I symptom wise, I have just a few things going on. I'm starting to break out and I had no acne this entire pregnancy. Um, especially in my face. My face didn't break out at all, but I'm starting to break out in my face a little bit and I'm noticing that I'm starting to get like some chest acne and I've had a little bit of acne on my back, but not terrible. Oh my goodness, Braxton Hicks. I have Braxton Hicks on a daily basis now, um, almost to the point where I kind of have to stop and really pay attention to what's happening and what's going on because it's not necessarily, I wouldn't say it's painful, but it's very intense. Um, it takes my breath away sometimes and I just really have to think about like um, how far apart they are and how long they're lasting. Um, I'm trying to think the best way to explain it for someone that doesn't know what Braxton Hicks are. They are basically like practice contractions. They don't necessarily mean that you are in labor at that second, but um, my child is waking up. Okay, so Grace gonna join us today. Do you want to join us? He's still waking up, so he's probably not gonna be super vocal. Let me down. Okay, so the next thing on my list is I'm having a little bit not necessarily a little bit. I'm actually having a lot of trouble sleeping. I can't get comfortable at night. I can't stay asleep. I know I've talked about having a little bit of like pregnancy insomnia in some of my last videos and basically nothing has changed with that. I still have a pretty hard time sleeping. Oh, do you have a hard time sleeping? Yeah. Yes? Oh, you hear the police car, don't you? Or the fire truck, whatever that is. I did have my first spotting incident. Um, and I had... I had spotting a few times when I was pregnant with Grayson, so I wasn't super concerned about it since it was so light. Um, I did just kind of... Um, I kind of just basically sat down and got a drink of water and took it easy. 
for, I don't know, a couple hours that day. Um, and it didn't happen again, so I never ended up um, calling my doctor or anything. Just because, since it did happen with Grayson, I remember um, they basically just always told me the same thing. To just take it easy and monitor, you know, what was happening and call back if it continued. And this time around, it was just the one time and it was very light. So I never ended up even calling just because I knew from experience with him what they would tell me to do. I had my glucose test, which I passed. Um, I don't want to sit necessarily love how my doctor's office does it um, they basically just tell you no news is good news and I didn't hear back or anything so I'm assuming that I passed but I would kind of like to know like where I'm at and what my um, what my result was and I guess I could call and ask but I don't know with this little one running around you don't always get time to Time to think about that kind of stuff. Do ya? I I'm pretty sure I talked about my um, Lush Cosmetics um, Organic Therapy Massage Bar. That's what I've used on my stomach to try to prevent stretch marks this pregnancy, and so far it has. I have no stretch marks yet from either Grayson or this baby, but I'm only 30 weeks and my bar is already gone. I used up the last of it, I think it was just yesterday when I did that. Grayson's in my sock drawer. What are you doing? But yeah, I used up all of my Lush Bar and I still have 10 weeks left. So I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen. I'll probably just end up ordering a new one just to have. And I mean, obviously I'll save it after I'm not pregnant anymore. I think it's totally worth it. Your skin feels so hydrated after you use it. I I just loved my Lush Bar and I, I recommend it to literally every pregnant person that I know because it's amazing. Name reveal. I am in the process of um, editing my name reveal. It's like half filmed, half still not filmed because once you'll see it you'll understand. It's um, I kind of took on, I kind of took on a lot with doing this, but I just kind of had one idea and then that turned into another idea and then it kept turning into like all these different ideas. Um, so the name reveal, once that's edited, it will be uploaded. Just another thing that I'm kind of procrastinating in with, ugh. now I'm not even able to talk today apparently. But yeah, that will be up as soon as it's edited. We have kind of been low-key about saying the baby's name to anyone. Um, our parents know, and like our siblings know, and I'm pretty sure that's it. We just, I mean, we're not like making it a big deal to keep it a secret. We just honestly, we haven't really been um, saying it to anyone. So yeah, nobody really knows the name. We haven't said it yet. We haven't... We haven't like put it out there on any like of our social media yet. So yeah, nobody knows, but you guys will know as soon as I'm done editing it. Yeah, Grayson is now getting into my closet, so I gotta go get him real quick. Say goodbye to you guys. Thank you for watching as usual. I really appreciate it. If you are not subscribed and you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and hit subscribe because I am trying to get it on somewhat of a regular schedule. Whenever I have schedules, it just doesn't work out because I either I don't have my stuff ready or I have something ready and I don't feel like waiting to upload it on my schedule. So I don't really have a schedule anymore. I just kind of upload when I want to. I upload about two to three times a week. So yeah, if you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and subscribe because there are definitely more coming. Baby Boy will be here very, 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 very soon. That's it. I gotta go. Bye.